Howdy folks, Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner Outdoors. New videos every week, Motivational Mondays, Weird Wednesdays, and of course, your Tex Grebner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness. So if you don't want to miss out on any of it, you better click subscribe, check that notification box, and while you're at it, make sure to leave me a comment on this video to let me know that you were here. I love reading your comments, and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. And this episode of your Tex Grebner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness is basically going to be a project video as deer season is a little over a month away maybe a month away when you're seeing this October 1st is the opening day for Illinois whitetail season I'd like to say that I'm excited but I'm excited with a bit of trepidation so right now I'm actually out in the woods to check on my blind here and believe it or not it is still standing and working quite well. I'm also going to be showing you some trail camera pictures from this very spot if you stay tuned to the very end of the video. This is imitation alligator. Now because I'm weird all the time and I'm not just weird for Weird Wednesday, it's a constant resting bitch face of Tex Grebner being weird. I found myself in the Joann's Fabric in Peoria, Illinois. And I was after some sewing supplies because I needed to do some repairs. And so, while I was cruising down the aisles, I came across this, which is imitation alligator skin. It's vinyl, so it's weather resistant. And so I got the idea that this would make some really cool dragon skin style limb covers for my Martin Hunter recurve. And I'm also going to be using some 3M double sided carpet tape for this. Now, I've done videos in the past on actually using duct tape in order to pimp your limbs. But, this here is a brand new adventure. Of course, I need to run in the house and get my pen so that I can mark this. Yeah, not entirely square, but going to be square enough, I hope. Tell you what, I had a hell of a time when I was a little kid trying to color in the lines. It's also complicated by the fact that I've got these scoots or skates right here. So when I draw over top of them, just so happens that they make the ball of the pen jump around so it does make it hard to draw a good straight line without a little bit of a divot but I should be okay now time to cut the other side of the strip out Okay, there we go with that. So now I'm going to take this double-sided carpet tape here, and I'm going to follow my limb down with it. Now this can be a little bit tricky because you want to get everything lined up just perfectly. And I've got the bow flexed right now, even though it kind of complicates being able to work on it. Because this way, when we string up the bow, we don't have to end up worrying about whether or not we're going to have enough material to flex, and it's not going to pop off or pull off the bow. 
just following the limb up. So now I'm going to pull the first side of the double sided tape off. And I'm going to roll up my fake gator skin here. Smooth it on here. And keeping it lined up with the carpet tape, I'm going to roll it all the way down to the tip of the limb here. Now this isn't a very absolutely professional job of it. But I'm sure that if you were a professional bowyer, you could do a much better job of this than I can. And you could probably put this under your fiberglass to begin with. So now just because I'm particular, I'm taking a safety razor blade, which is only safe when it's actually in a razor. And I'm using it kind of like a draw knife to pop the extra corners off and clean this up and try and make it look pretty. So the carpet tape seems to be holding fine on the limb, but it's not holding fine on the alligator vinyl. So I'm having to come up with a different solution for this project. So we're going into the farm store here. I need to get some fletching glue. The general plan is to cover the backside of the vinyl with this fletching glue and then stick it on to the carpet tape because the carpet tape doesn't seem to be having a problem holding on to the limb but it does seem to have a problem holding on to the actual vinyl upholstery. So I'm going to try and glue this on. Initially this seemed like a good idea at the time, but the good news is this tape does give me a barrier in between my bow limb and the glue, so if this doesn't work, it's not like I'm going to be epoxying something onto the fiberglass directly. So the general plan is to coat this with the glue and it's going to take a lot of it and then stick it on. Of course, now I need to get it lined up correctly. So this is going to be a test of multiple things because I just invested in a new Rode Mic Go and a Canon G40 camcorder to try and improve the production quality for all you awesome people that actually bother to watch me. However, I admit it's a little bit frustrating because I'm kind of like a caveman when it comes to technology. So hopefully, even though there's some wind, you're getting some decent audio. We're also going to be testing and seeing if these limb skins that I made out of the vinyl alligator print are actually going to hold up when I start shooting this bow.
So, I've also got another contraption down here that I'm going to show you guys. This is another project that I've been working on. This is a regular bag target that I have wrapped in mesh, and as you can see, I stitched up the side. But these are drape hangers for hanging up drapes or a shower curtain. And what these little clips allow me to do, because I've cut a slit in the top and bottom so that they can get punched through and hang down, is actually hang my clay pigeons to have a reactive bag target. Also, it seems that my fletch glue has worked very well because I've been shooting quite a bit and this skin has yet to come off. I didn't have a whole lot of pictures because this camera has only been active for a week. And I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm excited about whitetail season because frankly, at some point, I'm going to have to validate my career choice as an outdoor show host on YouTube. And whitetail hunting has always represented struggle and failure to me. However, I will say it does look quite promising. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the bow limbs actually turned out. It seems like that vinyl is good when you glue it on top of the double stick tape. But if it peels off, I'll definitely let you know. Still going to be a work in progress to figure out this camera though. But from here, from this particular blind, I can set it up here and I can reach it to turn it on. And I can start record with a remote. And I can zoom with a remote from here. But after showing you guys the trail camera pictures, that right there is what dreams are made of. That's just absolutely crazy to me. But, deer season's a little bit over a month away, and you never really know. Life ain't like the pornos, hunting ain't like the TV shows, and if you'll let me, I'd like to tell you a hunting story. But it's dangerous to release too much of my awesomeness all at once. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, God bless all my sports of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at SOETacticalWear.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching. Tech Scrab near outdoors.